Hi everyone, Renee here with Jade Penguin Jewelry. Today I have a different type of jar. It's not a jewelry jar, it's called a vintage junk drawer. And I had this a while ago from one of the thrift stores in the areas and I just never went through it. So it's snowing outside and I figured why not? Let's go through this together. So it's a neat little lid you can see on there. Vintage drawer. Alright, bullet casing. Winchester. St. Louis Street matchbook. New Orleans. The little wooden fan. Small tears in the fabric. Mother of Pearl something. Tiniest cheese knife in the world, maybe? I'm not entirely sure what this is used for. I know this one is the tatting shuttle for making lace just right. And here we have a little angel pin. American Legion auxiliary pin. Powder born gun club. Skeet Shooter 76. We have some Wheaties. This one's a 1943. Steely, this weight feels wrong. I'll have to get my scale out. I don't think that's the right weight. It feels really light. Then we have 1939, 1925. I'll have to check that. I'm not sure what the weight's supposed to be, but that steel one feels wrong. Then we have an American Legion auxiliary spoon ring. Probably a size 6. I can't get it on my finger. And I don't see my mandrel, so it's a mystery. The little bowling ball that says Hong Kong on it. Or bowling pin, sorry, not a ball. It's a pin. Frederick MD BPOE 684. I don't know what the BPOE is, so I'll have to look that up. A little toy car. Does this little head move? Kind of, if I rolled it on something flat at the bottom of my tray. So, yeah, a little plastic yellow head bobber guy. Jesus. Italy on the back. City of Jackson, Michigan, pin. An angel. Made in Germany, 5667. I don't know what the angels need to go on. American Legion again. A button. Very cracked piece of plastic. The face, it's like a little plastic cameo. 
dirty guitar pick, and a token. So let's see. Established 1924 jar. Oh, hi, Mark. American flag. Money clip for Drury College Centennial, Springfield, Missouri. Another Winchester 40. Then we have a little dice. A key for Marlin Key. New England New England firearms. So I wonder if I got somebody's gun safe key. The Ten Commandments. Another wheat penny, 1937 for that guy. Lifetime electron tube, gold clad. Is that what's really in here? Feels like it. Yep, there we go. Put that back. Hey, look at that Radio Shack. Those don't exist anymore. Then we have this Barbie coat hanger. I remember having these. Super fancy little coat hanger. Shoehorn. Winthorpe shoes. Put on the full armor of God. Broken. Oh, another wheat penny. 1926. And an arm. Just an arm. And a wooden thimble. Two year safe driver award for National Safety Council. Pin with a very bent pin tip. Signature three made in USA. Sparrows spoon feels just like stamped aluminum or yeah, it's very flimsy. I wonder if Sparrows was a brand. Another angel. Oh. And some more steels. 1943. 1943. And they were stuck to the golf course. interesting. And we have a watch. Timex. 17 jewels. The strap's a little worn. The watch face is good. A whole lot of awareness happening right here. Okay, C for nineteen ninety five and a Louis Vuitton luggage key. Little aluminum ring. 
and carved elephant. Which might be ivory. But the little thing's all bent up on it right there. He might be ivory. He might just have to be set aside for a while. And last we have Pap's Blue Ribbon Bottle Opener. Church key thing. Alright. So that was a quick jar. A lot of clunky things in it. everybody. Don't know if it was worth the um, the tag. They did have a sale on this day, but I don't remember what the tag, the final price was on it. Um, the steel pennies are cool. The wheats are cool. I'll add them to my coin collection. Um, other than that, I don't see a whole lot in here for a resale, but definitely some things I need to look up. If you know what this is, I don't even know where to start. I know it's probably not a cheese knife, but I don't know what this end would be for. Buttons? Doesn't feel like it's broken, but it is sharp. So if you know what it is, let me know. Or if you know the value of some of these things, let me know as well. That will save me some research time. And that's it for this quick little jewelry jar. Hopefully I'll have more videos for you guys coming soon. I know I've been late, but thanks for watching. Take care. All right, I'm gonna do a voiceover at this part for the roundup. This pin actually commemorates the Oklahoma City bombing in 95. I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with it, but that's the date on the back and it took me a minute to remember it. All right, here we have the religious items that were in the jar. This is probably going to be lotted up with some other religious items and sold together. I don't do a whole lot with individual sales of these items. So next, we're going to look at the coins. I did verify the weight of the coins. They are real steel wheat backs for 1943. All the copper wheat backs are going to go to my collection, and then the token I'm just going to hang on to might make jewelry with. Next we have Sparrow's Spoons. This is actually an advertising spoons from the early 1900s. I did find a comp that sold for about $15 for a pair. This will go for $7. Alright, so here's the tatting shuttle. I found comps to where some in better condition sold for about $10. I might try five on this one. There is pitting just from age. Um, I might also see if a friend wants it. So this is a PBR church key bottle opener. Um, this went for a couple bucks. I might just keep it for use for opening cans on occasion. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this guy yet. We have the nib pin holder here. I did check the tip to see if it was gold. Some vintage tips can be gold. This one was not. The pin is fairly modern. You can buy them off of Amazon. So probably not going to resell this. This money clip, once listed online, I think for around $23 with no sold comps. So I'm not entirely sure what I can list this guy for. Probably around $18. Okay, so we have the German Angel. It's listed as a cake topper on most listings online. Probably around $7. They usually come in a set of five or six. And then just a toy soldier with no marking, so a lot. This is interesting, Louis Vuitton luggage key. It is old. I could not date it or find another one online. The key next to it, the Marlin key, is a key to lock a gun's um, firing trigger not a key gun safe like I originally thought. I don't know what I could do with just the key, but not much. Okay, this is absolutely not for cheese. 
it is part of a pedicure manicure kit and it's for cleaning under the nails the only listing i've seen says this is for toenails so not a world's tiniest cheese knife i probably wouldn't even use it anywhere in the kitchen highly hard pass on that i found quite a few listings for these they come in big lots this i might get four to seven dollars for if i list it i'm not sure if I can lot it up with anything just yet. That's, I have to list. Here we have the matchbook from New Orleans. Again, this will probably go in another lot of just random stuff if I make one. The watch here, the Timex one, will go in a lot. The shoehorn, I've researched, there's some shoehorns that go for quite a bit of money. This is not one of them. It could probably go for a couple dollars, or I can just donate it and not make it worth my time undecided. Here's a grab bag of some of the small stuff. The toy car I thought might be Cracker Jacks. It doesn't look like it. The golf course thing can go for about four dollars. I haven't confirmed if the elephant is bone or ivory. And the other items aren't testing for any particular plastic or maker's mark. So probably lot items again. And the doll's arm, I'm not sure where it came from. This is a weird jar full of little mysteries that I'm not sure what to do with. But if you made it this long to the end of the video to watch the roundup, I appreciate your time. Uh, don't use the cheese knife. It's definitely not a cheese knife. And I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Hopefully it comes sooner and it's full of less junk. Bye now.